Hello everyone, this is Lorraine, and today I am coming to you with a small haul. Um, I bought some a variety of different beauty products, mainly lip products and some nail products, which is pretty much my extent of beauty products. I don't wear makeup because I don't know how to apply it. So the most that I normally wear is lip color and, of course, nail polish. And I've been trying to get out of the box out of my box and try different colors so um or lip colors anyway because I'm more of the like neutrals or nudes or browns so just trying to you know do something a little bit different so as you can see I have on something much brighter than what I normally wear and it's one of the colors that I did pick up this weekend so I went to Ulta and to Walmart and bought a few things. So I'll show you what I got from um, <clears throat> from Ulta first. And then I will show you what I picked up at Walmart. Um, first thing I got um, was this Smashbox lipstick in the color Mandarin. And it is a very vibrant, like, reddish with it like a almost corally red it's not like a bright true red um i know it kind of looks that way on on camera but it does have more of an orangey undertone to it so that is the color mandarin and then to kind of pair with it i bought the smashbox um lip enhancing gloss and it is in the color Afterglow. And it has the um, the doe foot applicator. I've only, I haven't really used, tried the lip gloss yet. I did try the lipstick um, and wore it for a little bit at, when I got home. Um, it's a pretty nice color. It is a tad bright for me. But I'm still current trying to get used to it. And I will see how it looks paired with Afterglow. And then I also bought a makeup brush. That's only because I tried, I purchased the uh, CoverGirl BB Cream um, a few weeks ago and um, I've been trying different ways to apply it to see how it looks, how what's the best way to apply it. I tried it with my, just using my fingers and then I tried it with a, I think it's like the little short kabuki brush. Um, but it was a really cheap brush, and the little bristles from the brush um, would be left behind. So I wanted to try something different. So I will see how um, the lady at uh, one of the sales girls at Ulta recommended using just a regular foundation brush. And it also has the concealer um, brush on the other end, and it's by Studio Basics. And then the other thing that I did pick up from Ulta was the Mariah Carey Liquid Sand, the mini collection. And these are the four colors that come in the, come in the collection is um, Get Your Number, which is this color here, Can't Let Go, The Impossible, and Stay the Night. I have yet to open this and try it, so I will be trying this real soon. Um, I do really like the matte finish. I'm when I try this, I probably will just do it on one nail as an accent nail, just because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a pain to remove trying to put it on all of my nails. So, um, be looking for a polish review soon for um, one or more of these colors in an upcoming manicure. And then I also from Walmart I picked up just some. Basic lip products, these have been out for a while, but they haven't, like every time I looked, they were not in the, with the other, they were out. Um, this is just the um, Revlon Lip Butters. This is in the color Creme Brulee, and this is just a very neutral shade with some subtle shimmer. I really like this. It's nude with just, it's like a shimmery nude color, so... I like it, so I wanted to pick that up because I really like the other lip butters that I have. And then 
being a little bit more bright, although this one is not very, very bright. As you know, with the lip butters, they're not like extremely opaque like a lipstick, but this one is Tutti Fruity, and it is a coral, more orange coral, coral shade. So, um, but the lip butters are buildable, so you can make it just a little bit more opaque to look more closely to how a lipstick would wear. So, um, I'm going to be also trying this, but, um, <clears throat> I guess I could do a swatch, which... So, this is Tutti Fruity, a nice orange shade and then this is creme brulee which is a very you can't really see that it's sorry right there a very just subtle nude color with some shimmer And here is the Smashbox Mandarin. And that is this color here. It's coming off more red on camera, but it is does lean more on the orange side a little bit. It has a subtle orange hint to it. And then the Smashbox Lip Gloss, which alone is just really not much color you can see it slightly here it does have a little bit of a pinky peachy color to it but it's not meant to be like a full coverage gloss or anything just high shine <clears throat> and then two other lip colors that I did pick up well, I did pick up the baby lips um, peach kiss I do really like the baby lips and it's again a very pretty much probably no color at all it's just you know just it's a gloss and the other two colors that I picked up <clears throat> one is from Milani it is a lipstick and I'm not sure what if there's a collection but this one is called orange Gina and I really like this it does have quite a bit of shimmer which um, I love the color but the shimmer I don't know just just I don't know it seems like there's just maybe just a tad bit too much of the gold shimmer in it but it is really nice a really nice color so what I've done because if your lips like mine you can see like all the lines in my lips and everything I have trouble with dry lips so the gold shimmer kind of makes that stand out more and look like they are really dry so um I did get a like a corally orange lip gloss this one is by Maybelline and it is called Captivating Coral and it has the doe foot applicator and that is actually what I'm wearing today I am wearing Mandarin I'm sorry not Mandarin but Orange Gina with Captivating Coral over top of it so you can see these two colors are pretty complimentary and this kind of just tones down the gold shimmer that is very apparent in this lipstick so those are the lip, other lip products and then I did to get two nail polishes both from um, Wet n Wild the Mega Last I really love these new brushes they work really great I love this formula and um, this one is called Wet Cement and it is kind of like a deep top taupe with like purplish undertones to it. And then this one is more of a just pinky type nude. And this is called Private Viewing. So I don't normally wear these, but these would be good, like the nude colors, like if I'm wearing a nail design that I really want the stamping to show up more, I'm not too concerned about the color beneath. So pairing it with it, like doing a nude base color and then 
a design that really doesn't show much of the base color would be when I would use a color like this because I'm generally not a nude color. I can be out of the box with my nails and try wild colors and wild color combinations, but there's just something different when it's on your face. People notice it more, so I'm just not not there yet. So I'm getting there with the lip color. So I don't know. We'll see how I like this. I've only, this is the first time trying this combo together. I did try on the lipstick before, but um, this is like, I haven't worn it, worn it, just tried it on and took it off. So that is all that I have from my little collective haul from Ulta and uh, Walmart. So if you've used any of these products, please send me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And, um, thank you for watching and have a great day.